I have these pretty well snugged up. I'll give them one more good round. And it's always very important, especially on a rusty tire, to make sure that this rust isn't falsely making you think that you have a tight seal around the lug nuts. Now, normally on a rim that isn't rusty, but you could do it even on a rusty rim, you always look for anything that looks out of place when you're just generally looking at your tires. For example, if you're doing your daily check around your vehicle as you should, looking at your tires and your lug nuts and your wheels, you want to make sure that nothing looks out of place. Now if I walked up to this tire, right away I would think there's something up with all of these lug nuts. Possibly they're loosening up. In this case I'm tightening it. But I mean, you can see that the rust has, has come off. So that's one thing that you would look for. Anything unusual, if there's dirt on the rim, and then suddenly there's a spot where there's no dirt, that can tell you that the lug nut's probably loosening up. So I'm gonna give these one firm, snug fit, and then I always carry a tire pressure gauge in my vehicle. It's very, very important, couple dollar item. Make sure it works. Sometimes you buy them and they, they stop working. It's always good to have a couple and then you can compare. On the tire, especially for you ladies, if you're not familiar, it'll tell you the pressure that you should have in your tire. And if you don't know, you can always ask someone if you're by yourself. You know, you it depends on what size of vehicle. In my truck, right, th these tires, I believe it's 48 uh, pounds. So I'm going to check to make sure, I'm sorry, it's 38 pounds. I'm going to check to make sure that it's, it's up to par there. And... Um, I think for this tire it's 38 anyways. I'm going to double check. But anyways, um, you want to double check your tire pressure. You want to make sure that all your tires are the same. You not only will lose, um, you know, ease of steering. It could actually kill you if you have one tire that's really bad because you could lose uh, steering. But it's also poor on gas mileage when you have one that's lower in pressure. And you'd be amazed at how much having the proper tire pressures in your tires will make your driving much safer. If you lose tire pressure, it can be a very big cause of accidents. So I'm gonna check my tire pressure, and then I have a hand tire pump. So if you don't have one of those that plugs into a cigarette lighter, yes, you can actually fill up a truck tire with these. So I'm gonna check the other tire pressure in my, my tires as well, and make sure um, that those three match, and. I'm going to double check and make sure this spare tire is of the same type. Sometimes you have what's called a donut on a car, and it'll also give you warnings not to drive over 50 or 50 miles, an hour, 55 miles an hour. So you'll want to check that manufacturer's rating on whatever spare tire you have. So this is just actually an old truck tire, um, and it's the same, you know, it's not a donut, so to speak. It's not a narrow gauge tire. So it should be fine. So I just thought I'd share a couple more tips with you.